bag of my thimbies. You guys serious? Huh? Is there any left in Zimbabwe now? Anyone? My thimbies. Can I show you Serious. How much was this? 800 rand. <laughs> Pee and this guy waiting. No, no, no. How many bags like this did he have? In the back of his car, he only had one more. He had one more. Yeah. But he was willing to supply that woman 17 bags. Jeez. Uh, he gets them from Kiesi, butter tight. Proper butter tight. So this is probably what, one tree? Hmm? One tree? No. Because he lay a baguette, it's like when they are alive, it's like two and a half. I've seen them alive. Yeah. A so, bucket? A bucket. 20 litre bucket when they're alive. 20 you'll be having like about two and a half alive ones. Sheesh. Oh well. Because yesterday he was willing to thing and see if I tell you. And they butter with sugar. Okay. Yeah, even so let me walk in the 
love you, putting a look Okay, right. I want to be there. 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 I to be there. I want to be there. I want to be there. I want to be there. I Right, so let's check what did I get fuel filter points tie wraps thinners the fuel filter and um, points came up to 273 bond and the tie wraps and the thinners I went to a different joint that came up to eight 133 yeah so not bad uh, for me not bad because that that was what less than 10 us say what seven eight 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 us altogether so even though the bond is high right uh, when you transfer it into us or pound and i compare to what i'd pay in the uk it's a lot cheaper now the, the thing is you can't compare where I live to here uh, for people that live here paying four or five hundred bond when 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 wages are low and there's no money and things are, are expensive then that is hard remember growing up playing with tires let's check which one I would have picked Dixie. that one not only is it the smallest it's also the narrowest which means 
it would be the fastest one to push. These big ones here were, were slow to take off. The bigger ones would have after this. Now my favorite tire used to have no threads. It was this size and smooth, smooth, smooth. And that was my all time favorite toy, a tire, until I got a bicycle. But that tire used to anchor on the farm. And you know on the farm you get droppings from the fowls, from the geese, from the turkeys. And our sons used to play with no shoes. The whole terrain is round the corner. There's ducks, two V on the tires, on your hands. And yeah, you jolt, you know. Everywhere we went, tire jolt. And that tire there, eh, if, you, if, if you race on a downhill and you cut it out, the tire ends up leaving you. Mm. <laughs> cut it off. If, 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 now, that, now that I know about wheel balancing and what's it, the way the tire rod ends up, we used to, I used to never know that the tire is like, it's like this. It's worn out on one side and there's more threads on, on the inner side or on the outside. That was wheel balancing, isn't it? Or oh, I don't know, the way the wheel was beveled on that. Yeah. And so now you'll be pushing and the tire wants to cut off into, it wants to make a turn except by itself. So you'll have to tire the one side all the time. Ah, what a gas. Big gas. And then if you blast on the road, you know, ah, if you're playing with tires on the road and you're cutting out, you know, you just know that a toenail is coming off time, time. There always had to be a toenail that comes off or gets cracked in half. Eesh. Ah, make sure the good old days. And then, those are the days when the old queen used to bath you, isn't it? So now, with dental and a stone, you don't want to tune the old queen, but she's checked. You're going to bath, because there's that dry blood that's sitting there on that toe. And she's going to wash it off. Hey, now when that hot water and dental eats that toe, and you must know, Asons would have tried to to stop the bleeding with sand. You just pour sand on that. <laughs> ah, when we get home, we'll put salt. Mm. Yeah. Sand used to graft. Salt used to graft. Yeah. I wish I would have kept that tire. You know that. I should have kept that tire and put it next to my toy cars as well. Isn't it? can't just sit in the sun without looking for a problem. This tick here came looking for me. It came looking for me. Check it out. Me I anchored. I anchored I tuned it to Joel like Now I wanted to know how does this tick keep finding me? I'm following me, even though I'm trying to vase the item. The item's got no eyes, by. But it knows how to find me. How? Suss it out, operating all over the place. So may I skim, seeing as it's got no eyes, the item must be able to clunk, exactly. I scheme it's got a hell of a clunking system on board. Seen as I had just taken my shangu off after a hard day's graft, so I can imagine. Toes must have been smelling of masese. So, how to kill a tick? Make sure if you don't split its nut off with a pin. That item's not gonna die. You gotta make sure you proper 
the item can you check and don't let it con you that it's dead it's not the item's trying to pretend like it's dead don't even skim mixing it's all a con make sure you take its nut off you check trying to pretend that you can you check can you check can you check yeah Thank uh -huh. 